before I get started, I want to remind folks that we are using remote technology for this public meeting that um, is made permissible through the governor's executive order that gave some relief to public bodies like us so that during the pandemic we, we could meet virtually, which we've been able to do since last year in March. Um, <clears throat> We, I am going to call this meeting to order after I do it um, right now. Uh, roll call. Commissioner Cameron. Uh, I'm here. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Zuniga. Here. Okay. And Commissioner O'Brien. I am here. So the four of us are here. It is Wednesday, January 27th, and just um, past 1 p.m. And today is our public meeting number 333. Um, <clears throat> we only have one item uh, on the agenda, and that is, um, actually it's two, uh, uh, that we will be addressing to anticipate um, uh, going into executive session, which does require a roll call vote. Um, I also have to read the uh, language into the record. Todd, that's correct? Okay, I'm seeing him nodding his head. So the commission anticipates that it will meet in executive session in accordance with GL chapter 30A section 21A3 to discuss strategy with respect to the, the Cosmo versus Blue Tarp Gray Development LLC at Al and Shuster v. Encore Boston Harbor at Al as discuss, discussion at an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the litigating position of the commission. The public session of the commission meeting will not reconvene at the conclusion of the executive session. To do this, we would have to have a, a motion and um, a roll call vote. Do I? Um, Madam Chair, I move that the commission go into executive session for the purpose that you just described. Thank Second. you. I, thank you. So I'll do a roll call vote. Uh, Commissioner Cameron. Aye. Commissioner O'Brien? Aye. Commissioner Zuniga? Aye. And I vote yes. So that's four, uh, four uh, zero, please. And then um, similarly, uh, Todd, um, I, I need to read that into the record? Yes, I think that's prudent, absolutely. Okay. The commissioner anticipates that it will meet an executive session to review minutes from previous executive um, sessions. So um, in the public session of the commission meeting will not reconvene at the conclusion of the executive session. So for the purpose of reviewing the minutes related to um, the executive session, do I have a motion? Similarly, Madam Chair, I move that the commission go into executive session uh, to review the minutes as you just described. Second. Sorry. Thank you, Commissioner O'Brien. All right, a roll call vote. Commissioner Cameron? Aye. Commissioner O'Brien? Aye. Commissioner Zuniga? Aye. And I vote yes. Thank you, and I appreciate we have, um, you know, a number of our team members who came in today. Um, we will be having our um, a, a public meeting tomorrow, and I know that there's going to be a lot of interesting topics that the team has worked on today. We do have a limited executive session. And um, I thank you, and I understand now we don't adjourn or, um, from the public meeting, but we will, because of virtual, we will be stepping into another virtual setting. So for now, thank you to the team and, and everyone for joining. We'll reconvene in our other meeting commissioners. Thank you so much.